Okay, he's in the booth. Say the line. Say the line. Yes! <laughs> yes! Say the line, Lord. <laughs> I already did, damn it! Okay, cool. <laughs> okay. Also, can you open the, the window, please? It's actually kind of uncomfortable here. You're still... You're outside of the window! <laughs> I could see your nipples. <laughs> Stop. It's cold out Stop. here. <laughs> it's cold out. <laughs> it's cold out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's, like it's cold out here, damn it. Yes. Yeah, like, God, it's like you're storing a perfect guy on your Ticonderoga pencils in that thing. It, it's Stop Canada. It. Of course you're cold. Jesus. <laughs> Let me in. It's warm in there, damn it. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Let's get through our simulated games first, and then we'll invite the main sickos of Moises Marty, Rye Blue, uh, Big Blue, and the, the Boston conglomerate. Excuse me, the <laughs> Bank conglomerate. I don't even know anymore. This is going to be overhyped to hell. This is, gonna, this is the professional darts corporation of indoor football. Let's get into it. Let's 180. Touchdown. <laughs> Pittsburgh, you require 13 yards. <laughs> Let's get out of it here. Otherwise, we're going to be here till midnight. Uh, the Winchester yeah. the Winchester 73s are taking on the San Antonio Gorditas. Our first simulated game of the night. Simulate that beautiful bean footage. No, oh, hold on. The Gorditas have too many active players. Ooh, does that mean we got to maybe eat some boy is back? I believe so. Ooh. His uh, ass is fixed. He finally got that thing glued back together. <laughs> <laughs> I had to think there for a second. Now he's questionable fixed. with constipation. That means we have to get rid of the lowest ranked person who is not a kicker, which is Phil Avery. Bye. Bye. Bye bye. Phil Avery uh, finishes his career with the San Antonio Gorditas with uh, seven tackles, one sack, and eight a pancake. <laughs> <laughs> We had a pancake. It was delicious. <laughs> Winchester 73 is against San Antonio Gordita. Simulate the game. 48 to 42 in a close one. The 73s are doing are on a late game or on a late season bloom. Yep. McAllister starting off with 21 points in a row. Truman with the one yard run. Weiner shrinking comes back alive. He perked He's up. alive! He perked up. He's standing up. Truman with another touchdown. <laughs> he Long stood up to the challenge. And Winchester Shrink and stood up to the challenge. Yep. And uh, with a series of uh, two field goals, that's how they got it. Weiner Shrinken finishes 27-37, uh, 261 yards, four touchdowns, one interception. Um, hmm. The backup came in for the San Antonio. With yep. Might go to Truman because he's got the two rushing touchdowns. That'd be two weeks in a row for him, wouldn't it? I don't believe so. No? Okay. I think it was a different name. How we do it did have 12 tackles and interception. And a touchdown. And I believe you might be right. Uh, yes, he did. We'll decide there. It might go to how we do it. It might go to uh, it might go to Truman. We'll see. I think Truman because two touchdowns. Yeah, that's tough to do. The Lafayette Subjugulators are at three and seven. They're taking on the Boston Jelly Beans at four and six. Lafayette. Simulate the motherfucking game. Get the clown. Oh, no. 38 to 33. I, cl I, I spoke too soon. Oh. <laughs> fuck. Bill Dickerson, the backup, did not get the job done. And Lafayette cements their status in contention. Contention. Double neck. With, with a late garbage <laughs> touchdown with a two-point conversion failed, that's all they could do. Marty Shelton. And this is and this is without Wizard E. Herbert. Without Wizard E. Herbert. 35 of 53 for Marty Shelton, 255 yards and five touchdowns. Easily. Player of the game honors. O.J. Kent. 11 catches, 120 yards, and two touchdowns. Uh, I'd, Damn. I'd, I'd have to give it to Shelton. 
Your team load the Ottawa All Caps at three and seven, taking on the five and five Dinosaur Fossils. Simulate the game. The Fossils have two off you offensive specialists. That's OS. As we go, bottoms up drafting for OSs. They need an operating system. Yes, they do. Windows 95 can't cut it. Do the. Oh, the Fossils, that's right. Alright, so need. We're on OS's. Darcy Levy. Darcy Levy is in. From Pitt! Might actually be a real person, but we don't have his face, so... Yeah. Hold on. Hold me. I've already Hold signed him, so it's... It... It's okay. No, it's, it's a moot point. It's a moot point. Ottawa all caps at 3 and 7. Dinosaur fossils at 5 and 5. Simulate the game. The fossils have too few active players. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Overall, <laughs> bottoms up drafting. Well, I think Saxonville's hurt too. The whole team, the whole team's going extinct. Yeah, and that's it's Phil like a Phil Avery. <laughs> 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 the same dude who got released is now going to. You can eat a pancake at two different teams in the season. <laughs> How about that, Phil Avery's a <laughs> Phil Avery's a fossil. For the very third time, the Ottawa All Caps against the Dinosaur Fossils. Simulate the game. The Fossils win with Phil Avery! Oh, God! 31 to 24! Ottawa's in uh, contention! Thank you. Ottawa's got a chance at making Tank Bowl for the second time in their, in their livelihood. Marks are reading with a one yard run. Yeah, I think Saxonville's in. Yeah, Saxonville was injured. Late game for Rogues from from right, and then the field goal. Yep, that's what did it. The backup, Bobby Wright, 28 of 45, 219 yards, three touchdowns, one interception. Ooh, and I know exactly Bunch what caused us to lock, yeah. lose this one. Bunch of fumbles. That'll and interceptions, it. too. That'll do it. Tons of tur Tons and tons and tons of turnovers. Marcia Reedon had 17 tackles, a sack, and an interception. Jesus Christ! Disgusting. Disgusting. <laughs> Player of the game. But the Player of the game! Disgusting. <laughs> the Flintstones at 2-8, and eight, taking on the Baltimore Challenge Passers. With a loss, they will still remain in contention with the Lawn Fair PG tips. However, is the Flint super weapon still charging up? <laughs> Simulate the game. The challenge passers have too few kickers. Oh, That's no. Right. That's right. Baltimore, I hope you like challenge kicking. Because, because <laughs> you have to because draft he, the worst kicker in the league. He can't kick because he broke his elbow. <laughs> what? Oh, yes. that's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> not Bill Gramatica, it's his distant cousin, which is Wendell Anderson! Wendell! Oh god, look at how much he weighs! I remember Wendell! Get to the chat, let's put him with the challenge passers. Wendell Anderson, a 21 overall. 6'1", <laughs> 409 pounds! That's Wendell? Wendell made a cameo appearance last year with uh, Hollywood. He's fat! He did? Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Fuck you, Baltimore! Flintstones at 2-8 and eight, take it on the Baltimore Challenge passing and punt pass and kickers at 4-5. and five. Simulate the game. What the hell? <laughs> What the hell? 65 to 47. Alderman with no pe with no challenge passing. Wilson with a pick he, six for Flint. He threw that thing six feet into the air and did not get wet. Oh, and, and he threw the football too. 
<laughs> he gets no down payment. Anderson with a field goal. Alderman. Abdullah Umblongata with a catching a pass for Baltimore. Alderman, Johnson, Alderman. Yeah, uh, Alderman went off. Flint ran a halfback delay and got their nuts ripped off. Sean Alderman, 30 <laughs> of 42 for 329 yards and five touchdowns. That is challenge passing. Dick Johnson, four touchdowns on the ground. <laughs> Damn. Who do you give it to? You give it to Johnson. You give it to Wendell yeah. Anderson. You give it to Johnson. You give it to Wendell. You give it to Wendell. You give it to Wendell. Dick Johnson also with 15 tackles. Yeah, uh, give it to Dick. You give it to Dick. You get you you defer to Dick. The Alaska yes. Pipeline at four and six are taking on the Hope Peak at six and four. Check Wendell's stats, please. All right, go back. By request only. Wendell Anderson was one of two on the night. Five of eight for extra points. All right, with an active Makoto Nayegi, allegedly. Only the two and nine teams are eligible for Tank Bowl. Yes. Probably. Yeah, as it would stand, it would be Lawn Fair versus Flint, and that's Tank Bowl. There's no tank in games. There's our two right there. Alaska Pipeline versus Hope Peak. Simulate the game. Hope Peak puts on a puts on a storm, fifty-one to thirty-three. Makoto Nayegi with two touchdowns, with one on the ground, one in the air. Nayegi, Nayegi, Makoto. Makoto's back. Oh yeah, twenty-seven to forty, two hundred sixty-three yards, five touchdowns, one interception. Merton. Uh oh. Merton. Uh oh. Uh oh. Merton, Merton be hurting. <laughs> yep, Merton, Merton be hurting. Merton be hurting. Four of nine, fifty yards. Had to leave the game early. Glenn Foster coming in though managed the game pretty well. Twenty four of forty two, two hundred two yards, five touchdowns. But he fumbled the ball twice, so he no. <laughs> so no. London Gill six catches, seventy two yards, two touchdowns, and may have to go to may have to go to Nico, uh, Makoto. Uh, Probably. Unless Drew Cauley has Wait, five I saw touchdowns. Jimmy. Jimmy. Jimmy, Jimmy fucking Yeezer. Three cat three tackles, one sack, one fumble, one interception. Completes the cycle. But Drew Cauley, five tackles, two sacks, two fumbles. I think we'd have to give it to him. Mm-hmm. All right. Big game. Big simulation. Big Kingston dun, Punishers dun, at dun, seven and three. Dun, 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 the undefeated dun, Dead Horse Mountains at nine and oh. Simulate the game. Upset! Oh no! By a point! A point! 20 They won by a rouge! They won by a rouge! Earl Emanuel out to a 14 point lead! Hurts you, Hutchback! I did it! It's amputee. Attempt. Amputee. No, they missed the extra point. It was amputee that killed him. <laughs> it otherwise it would have been tied. They kicked the field goal, but they then uh, Kingston ran out the clock. Timmy two times is that was injured in the game. Oh no! Cornelius Brady, fifteen of six, fifteen of eighteen. For 104 yards and three touchdowns. But also, the kicker went, came in. Look. Kingston got... Kingston did not escape this clean. Walt Woods for Kingston. 12 tackles. Yeah. that. Look out for Kingston. Yeah, but here's the thing. Did they... Considering, A, they lost their, their, their star, star QB... Are they gonna? Are they gonna pretty much lose out in in the uh, in the remaining games? I don't know. And one crumbled the mountain. 
Kingston crumbles the mountain. Pat is saved. <laughs> Slay the horse, crumble the mountain. Slay a horse, crumble a mountain, eat a cowboy. I think, I think Pat's probably the happiest person about losing. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. You're still top of the league. Finally, we have a team that can beat a dead horse. We have a team that beats a dead horse, and it's the Punishers. Moving on, we got two more games to simulate before we get to fuckery. The yeah. Mung Yong Munji are at four and six. They're taking on the five and five Saskatoon Sparkle Farts. Simulate the game. 41 to 37. The Sparkle Farts are on a move. Overdrive coming back. Montgomery Flea Market with a run. Overdrive, 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 overdrive. You see Robin A. Overdrive was taking care of business. And then and then Gary comes in. And he's like Baba Booey. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna midget in the we got a midget in the booth right now next to Robin. My horrible Howard Stern drive. Let me let me yeah. let me see your titties. Just whip those whip those titties out for me. There's a midget in the garbage can, and I there's believe a, he's a midget, jacking it. So there's a there's a midget in the garbage can out in the lobby. I don't know what this guy's deal is. <laughs> ah. He thinks he's a Dalek, apparently. A uh, Dalek, a daisy. <laughs> Reminds me when I try to shove Nick Cannon up my asshole. That's Cannon. The third time. Twenty-seven of forty-one for overdrive. Two hundred fifty yards. Five touchdowns. One interception. Montgomery Flea Market with the rushing touchdown. Al Williams, uh, eight catches for 92 yards and two touchdowns. Mm, bit of a bit of a mixed effort. Bit of a mixed effort overall. Derek Meter, the hot hand on tackles with 15. Com the next guy had four. Yikes. Yeah. Moving in our final simulated game, we have the Fighting Polygon team at four and six. They're taking on the Augusta Duffers sitting at five and five. Any which way to go, Augusta. See what you got. Simulate the game. 40 to 37. The Fighting Polygon team stays alive. Thomas starting off with two touchdowns. Starting with two touchdowns. Moss comes in. Rax it feels as if the Duffers, Duffers might be wanting to uh, call a mulligan on this. Duffers want to call a mulligan. One time they... Uh, Ken Moss, 23 of uh, 41 for 212 yards, six touchdowns and interception. Well, it looked like they struggled with their short game. Don Alford with uh, nine catches, 94 yards, three touchdowns. Look, looks like player of the game to me. And now I shall let Mikey file out of the booth as we have a limited number of chairs for a reason. <laughs> Same I'm up. still stuck in the goddamn window. Get out of here, right. too. Get out of here. I can't! Laura, Laura right. Mike, yeah, push me out! Lord, Mikey, and Lord will have you file out here. Let's get... All right. Thank you for the good No, talk. seriously, I'm stuck in the goddamn window here! I'll boot you out. <laughs> for tush. <laughs>
just listen to a bunch of um, <laughs> All of You Can't Leave Behind by you, too. Um, or you can just restart the Royal Rumble. <laughs> <laughs> There's no restarts in life, unfortunately. Alaska, shockingly, remember, enough, but... Alaska shockingly enough, is clean. However, Fighting Polygon, Patrick Ells, BB Blam Blam, that one is listed as questionable. questionable. And, quarterback, and quarterback Gus Davis. Oh, boy. And here we get the Fighting Polygon team showing the injury god's foot fetish. Foot. <laughs> foot. Disgusting. Champ Walter you from like Kingston. Feet. Only one I injury. like feet. He hurt his toe. Reading is clean. Watch out for them. Salad fries. Rickley, Warner, Antonio Cox. Key figures on offense. Sorely missed this week. Winchester, clean. Ben Sherwood, in small injury for Saskatoon. Josh Boone, out for the His season. His ass! Holy fook is out for two weeks for the Flint super, for the Flint, um, not super weapon. Um. Yeah, but David is out for the season. Seth Hicks, Lafayette's on a, on a struggle. Ralph Richardson, Sharif Rock to Casbah for Madison. Their backup, like said, did, their backup did well. He's out for three weeks. Like I said, so far we had no deaths all year. And that's all. And, and there it is. is. There's, there's no injuries for the all caps either. I believe so. Bullshit. As I believe right. Mother Nature voices the displeasure with that foot fetish joke. <laughs> all right, guys. Game man has the stick. All right, I got the stick here for week number 13. Uh, let's see, we got Winchester and Mung Young. Uh, Baltimore versus Reading. Reading already played. Saskatoon versus Madison. Madison's playing football after dark. Dinosaur Lonfear already already played. Hope versus Fighting. Uh, but Hope is on the, the hold off until <sighs> September. Man. Mm -hmm. Boston versus Ottawa. We haven't played this half the season. Yes, you haven't, and you're in contention, so I may be... Also, and it's also, also Lowe's birthday next Thursday. Yes! Yes. All right, there it is. He wanted to do that for his birthday. Lafayette versus Kingston. Ooh! Mm. I, all I can hear is... I, I'm Lafayette. I can, all I can hear is, motherfuck. I can I'm, hear... I can hear what I am yelling. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking towards that. San Antonio well, versus think, Kansas City. Oh, no. I mean, Never mind. Yeah? Maybe, 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 maybe an FAD, maybe a football after dark. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. Maybe uh, football. No, 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 Battle of the Juggernaut, followed by Augusta versus Alaska, but eh, middle of the road. All right, I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna yeah. set it this way. It's a good combination of teams in contention and teams in contention. We're yeah. gonna do we're doing Boston versus Ottawa and Lafayette versus Kingston. I would as our <laughs> double headers. All right, I'm typing it right now. Subjugulators versus. Uh, Punishers. Boston versus o Boston Jelly Beans versus Ottawa All Caps. I already have that. Uh, With La All Caps, All Capitalized and bolded. Lafayette, yep. Lafayette Subjugulators versus Kingston Punishers. And, oh, what the hell, we'll do a football after dark. Uh, football after dark, we'll have uh, San Antonio versus Kansas City. All right. Sounds good. Yes. And that's the Mahomes. And we're just going to ignore those big matchups. <laughs> yeah. We're going to ignore the big matchups because we don't want to kill our collective brain cell. Yeah. Yeah, yeah for like, <laughs> let's do this method. I was sick of it. Even I'm going, yeah. we had whoa. We had Burbank today. Let's let's not make it two weeks in a row, for God's sake. 